When the city of Austin closed down the parking lot of Auditorium Shores in November of last year, they told us it would be open um, seven months later for the job to be completed. Well, it's now nearly a year later, and that parking lot is still closed and was supposed to reopen today, but we've learned now that it's been pushed back again. Kate Whitehall is live in South Austin this morning with details on this. Kate? Good morning. We can see the fence behind me. That's where the parking lot is. And the Parks and Recreation Department tells me that it's really the contractor's fault for these delays, as well as a few utility issues. In fact, they were supposed to open it up last month, but they say now they're going to figure out, hopefully sometime next week, when the new opening date may be. Now, this parking lot is a big deal for people who use the trail. A study found most trail users access the path by either the parking lot under Mopac or here at Auditorium Shores. The city closed a lot back in November, so it could be beautified and some environmental improvements made, like regrading the parking lot so the runoff from rain doesn't drain directly into Lady Bird Lake, but rather down through gardens and ponds to filter out the oil and dirt. City staff tell me the number one issue for the delay is the new bathroom facility not being complete. It depends on the weather and it depends on the different construction issues that might come up. So we're really excited. It was supposed to open at the end of September and we're just a couple of weeks late. Well, the Parks Department project coordinator tells me that there was an adjoining wastewater line issue with the bathroom. And once the bathroom is inspected by the city, then the project will finally be complete. Coming up in 30 minutes, though, we're going to talk about some of the other improvements that have been made to the lot that are finished, ready to go. They're just waiting on the city to come out to inspect it. For now, we're live in South Austin. Kate Wydaw, KXAN News.